So there's a lot of issues with sinning, and that is a community backlash of if you sin, you're a noob. That's the most common insult that you're a noob for sinning. But what's wrong with sinning zombies? It's part of the game. That's why Planet put it in the game so you can put an offense on the other player and not just play defense 24-7. You can actually mix around a bit with the game and sin zombies. Why the hell do people complain about it? It's part of the game. It's part of the game, and if you lose against it, that just means you suck at the game. That's it. It just means you suck and you're trash, and you, and you would rather self-deny and just claim that the other player is trash, but that's not true at all. You're trash for failure to go in and defend against it. You're probably over there farming, 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 having a commando as your cheapest tower, and then this dude just spam, spam crash you with a bunch of tier ones. I was like, wow, congratulations, dude. you suck at the game for not bringing a cheap tower. Like, I don't see the problem in sending. And a lot of people get butt hurt and start sending back. Like, that, that's a stupid response if you, if, if you can barely defend yourself. If you can't defend yourself, the response should be, oh, let me invest my cash into more defense. Not, oh, man, let me invest three boss twos to go and send uh, at uh, that guy. It's not going to work. Either invest in defense or invest in offense to go and make a big push. You don't send two zombies and, and then expect that to to do the trick unless you're playing against some, like, new with a bunch of tier one towers. Like, star towers, you know, sniper, shotgunner, frag, pistol dude those type of crappy towers and you also gotta have common sense to see if your push would even work in the first place like if you're playing against me oh man this dude has golden commando hmm, common sense tells me not to send anything besides boss threes because it's probably gonna lose to anything else besides boss three it's like hmm, okay i'll save and wait my time for that while he's dealing with the void you you don't send boss ones when they have like a op as hell tower like you don't send a bunch of strong dudes when 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 there's a Zed roaming like that's stupid. Okay, so some more back to the main issue. Why do people hate when you send? It's part of the game, and it's part of the game. A script. I mean, a uh, planet scripted this and made it so you can send out zombies. It's cause players suck, bro. That's the bottom line. Is that they suck. And they're looking for an excuse to still be good at the, you know, they want to feel good at the game still. And they just say, man, you're a noob for Sydney, bro. Only noobs send it. And when, in reality, you're the noob because you failed to go in a defense against a push. None other than the goddamn default spawn crap that's easy as hell to go in and pass. Jesus. So here's what Sydney does. Not only does it make a slight push, but... It makes it so the player cannot get cash because in this game for some odd reason uh, you don't get cash when you kill uh, when, when you kill sin, uh, sent zombies which is very annoying because let's say for me like I rely a lot on my farms you could potentially send three slow guys and my commando will target those and I'll be like 30 bucks short from upgrading my farm to like fruit of the fu uh, of the future like even those small little even those small little steps or if you send like a wave of boss twos and they have zero farms they're not gonna be able to get any cash besides from the round and the rounds won't give you enough cash going to defend against boss twos so sending out boss two wave will make a good push not not only for all the zombies behind it will go and be safe but they will earn zero cash which is also a really really annoying thing itself so not only are you getting dealt with this with the horde behind it but you are getting dealt because you're simply not getting any cash for uh killing the uh, boss too like boss two has one has 1.6k that's a total of 1.6k cash but if i send like three boss twos congratulations bro you're not gonna earn any of that cash it's just gonna be zero dollars you're not gonna earn anything at all so i'm like it's part of the game and if you lose it, you suck. Of course, in this game, sometimes on short maps, boss one rushes will just simply work. And there's nothing really you can do about it. It's just more of like, uh, well, crap, there's your screw, but maybe you should have boss one rush first. <laughs> because that's how some maps are. Boss ones are pretty cheap. 
and that's how some of are. They can just simply rush you with boss ones. And even if you have the best defense that you could obtain at like wave 10, you're still gonna lose. They're, they're still gonna push in with all of these boss ones and these mystery dudes and the self dudes coming in at you. She's like, right. Oh, damn it. So look at this noob. Look at this dude. He has a bunch of tubers. His weakness right now is boss two. I mean, bo yeah, b boss two. And that's exactly what I'm gonna send. I'm gonna exactly send boss twos. Look at that. Look at that juicy, sexy boss two. Look, look at that. They're actually getting too close because the tubers. Will, okay, uh, I need to spread them out more because uh, I didn't realize they would be that close. Because now, okay, yeah, they're just gonna get splash damage. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna time this so they can't take any splash damage like that. Cool, he has a Z out, but it's small and won't do much. So, here are the two things that are gonna occur when you send out boss twos. A, you're gonna make a push. And then B, they might have the, uh, the slight chance of sending something back at you, which wastes their money. And... They might sell out these farms when they go out too much. Because I don't want this dude farming. That's exactly why I went ahead and set out a bunch of boss threes. So he will go ahead and get pressured. They go ahead and start selling out. That's exactly what I want. I don't think he's going to do that though. But it's, it's just a chance bro. It's just a chance. But don't get too cocky and start mass sitting. You still got to watch out for yourself. So make sure you have some pretty good defense. He's not responding with uh, boss, boss twos. Which is unfortunate man. Unfortunate. I can spam this dude with a bunch of uh, stealth bosses because he doesn't have any stealth detection really. I'm like, yeah, he does have these blaster dudes, but they're not going to do too much damage. They are just going to simply walk by and outrange him. The more of a threat is a Zed. He has three Zeds. They each have 400 health, and that will take down two boss, two stealth bosses, so it's fine. Yeah, you always want to look for a weakness. Don't start spamming in boss twos, and if you don't see that working, don't do it more. I'm like, yeah, it, it is going to delay their cash, and look, this dude is selling out his farms. He is getting scared and threatened at the same time, which is exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. So even even if I, for some reason, fell, at least I was successful at getting him to sell out his farms, because I'm destroying his, his economy right now by not only sending, but he is responding by... Uh, selling out his farms. That's some juicy, juicy results I'm seeing. Look how much push of a I am making right now. But he does have these R uh, these RPG dudes, and they're doing a pretty de a pretty decent job at these stealth dudes, just for lowering down the HP because 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 these Zeds are, are going to be able to make a bigger push in. Zeds are pretty annoying, but they're not impossible to deal with. And now look at what I created. Look at what I created. He's focusing on defense so much. And I'm over here just, just chilling. I'm investing all this cash onto him because he's not sending back. I don't need to worry about defense because he's not sending back anything. So I'm all Gucci over here. And look at that. His uh oh wait, his blasters are at, are actually still at range. Wow, that's not that that's some pretty good range. And now he's gonna lose. Even if a Zed does come out like one, it's not gonna be able to take out all, all this stuff. Man, lightning dudes are starting on it and going past stuff. My God. Yeah, Zeds are starting to die off, so it's fine. It's fine if they if they kill that. It's, an order. it's a sacrifice we must make. This dude's pretty being stubborn with his farms, though. I would have totally sold out long ago in order to respond to this uh, self boss push, and he is gonna lose right about now. He he left a long time ago. I didn't, I didn't see that. He rage quit it. Are Zeds stealing your jobs? That sucks, and I can't read that tiny dual text. I got it. That tiny little text, I can't read that. So my favorite things to do are to boss 2 rush and to boss 3 rush. Boss 1 is kind of boring to be honest, but boss 2 and boss 3 are pretty fun because they invested so much time, and then you go ahead and just waste it all for him. It's kind of like trolling, except that you're not doing it just to piss them off. You're doing it to win. So trolling is more of doing it just to piss them off. Why do I look like this? Now, boss one is the obvious go-to idea if you're looking to win as fast as possible. But boss one is kind of boring at the same time. And boss two and boss three are just simply more fun. So like right now, I could boss one rushes noob. Cause he's doing terrible on, bo on boss ones. He only has one commando and two flamethrowers, but just not gonna do enough damage in order to take down a boss one rush. Yeah, this dude sucks. But I'm gonna be kind and just rush until boss three, aka waste my own time. 
Boss 2 rush is also fun. I'm not consider doing a boss 2 rush instead. It's both a mix of boss 3 and boss 3. Like, I want to do boss 2 if they suck and this dude sucks against. Because he has like no rail gunners or, stu or stuff like that. No phasers. So boss 2 rush will easily mow him down because uh, his commanders are just not simply going to dish out enough damage. Like, one boss 2, yeah, for sure they can kill that, but they can't kill more than multiple boss 2s. He just invested all his money into the farm, so, I, so now it's a perfect time to actually do a boss 2 rush. He just invested all of his cash into farms at once. I have no idea why he, he didn't do them one, one by one. That's really a really stupid move. He should have done it uh, one by one, but no, he just did them all. It, it, it's like if he saved a 30 grand and he's like, hey, hey, man, let me just spend it on farms. It's like, oh, wow, well, you're, you're, you're smart. Wow, you should be on a, on the, on the list of people who are successors get a gold star he does have a zed but that zed i don't really care about i don't think it's gonna put more much danger into that now if you have like five zeds yeah i don't think the boss two rush would work as well boss two rush is looking pretty juicy he's kind of doing no damage and these zeds are just simply gonna go and die down as soon as they make contact with the boss two because they're not gonna help out a whole lot he does only have laser wielded commandos He's not looking to sell out his farms just yet, but I would totally sell my farms if I, if I was this guy. He did respond back with bosses, so we did make him waste some juicy cash, which is just what we want. We made him waste some cash. We got him butt hurt. All right, I'm going to send in stealth bosses to go ahead and make a really good push. I know I don't care how many. Can we cancel these? No, you cannot cancel, huh, man? That would have been pretty cool. Yeah, more Zez. It's not going to matter. It's already too late. i uh, use a call of arms. He's going to help me out. He's not going to kill me first. I'm going to kill him first, so I don't need to invest into um invest into defense because this dude is gonna his push is not gonna be enough because i'll kill it but even if i don't it doesn't matter because these dudes are gonna go in and push in more use go you're going to use it oh wait nope it's not in there i was gonna use a call of arms let's see he's struggling hidden boss is taking a wall to die and that's two hidden bosses that's gonna make a push the only chance of him surviving is if the Zed just comes in and squishes, but my stealth bosses are making a huge push right now. See, Zed is coming. Look at that juicy lag. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, the, I don't need these stealth bosses going and progress further. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I don't need to sit no more cause it's because this is game. This is it. He still has lava. These lightning news are going to make some assi assistance to the front lines. This dude is not gonna team it this dude is not gonna win uh oh wait i guess it in some lightning dudes Ooh, i'm gonna send in some lightning dudes just as just go in and just mock them okay let's see that hit that hit and boss is pretty much at full hp over here i could just not care all right and he dies good sport though because he didn't com complain like the rest of these noobs saying like oh my god you send there <laughs> it's like oh, hello i'm gonna say Hi. Okay, bye. Because the game is about to end. Espanol? No. <laughs> that was our conversation. Espanol? No. This guy has a bunch of crappy towers. He's not going to stand a chance against me. I don't think he can even kill a boss, too. Unless he makes like a crap ton of snipers, and yeah, he can. But uh, I could just simply rush his dude with boss ones. Maybe even stealth. I'm going to rush his dude with stealth, probably. Stealth dudes, they made a pretty huge push and yet they're only 10 off so yeah this dude has zero i mean a uh, really bad camel detection his only hope is a sniper because a sniper was taking him out and it just one shot at all of them and he has a pretty good amount of snipers but i can still rush him uh with it so no biggie uh this dude is dying to a boss one rush but i didn't even send anything you know it just spawned from those mystery troops and yeah i didn't even send anything this dude is losing to the default spawns Look at that starter spam, these scout dudes, look at that, look at that grind. Alright, his last boss, oh man, he, he actually survived, he actually survived. Nice. He says, no, I'm not losing. We'll see about that. This dude lost to a boss too. Well, actually my, well, that's a lot of health left. Well, like, that's 500 health. 400 health. <coughs> he did kill the boss too, but now he has to deal with all these boss ones man i'm surprised this dude is, sur is surviving this long with this many crappy towers like that is amazing i'm not gonna send any of this dude he's just, he's just gonna lose by himself but man that's amazing that he's going this far with like a bunch of garbage loadouts 
I'm at towers, not loadouts. He killed all the boss ones that were just rushing in. Now you guys deal with these lava dudes and boss ones. So I think there's a stealth. Yep, there's a stealth boss, and there's no way he's gonna win that. That is game. He's gonna lose to a stealth box because he just doesn't have enough anti camo detection. Like they're not gonna stop that. They haven't even targeted the stealth boss. You still have full HP. It, it, it's impossible. He might actually lose to the boss once here. Ooh, he does have the the little tryhard scout here. Now the boss ones, man, that's a lot of HP. Okay, that is getting dangerously close. It's probably gonna go in with like 20. Oh, goes in with 30 health. That stealth boss has took, has taken zero damage. Zero damage is now starting to get hit, but I, I think it's, I think it's too late. Okay, well, let's see if this guy can make it. No. No. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, this dude is for sure dead. He died. Oh man, this dude is a professional right here. We got a pro player right there. I was a professional player. I'm scared. He left as soon as, um, as soon as he joined. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,